and I hope that there may be questions that you guys have had and he's just gonna update us on everything and give us all the information that we know. I'm super excited. Um, if you guys haven't already, visit votesaveamerica.com. I'm actually gonna pin it in my comments right now. You guys should really check it out. This is my first time living, so bear with me. Um, but votesaveamerica.com, I'm pinning it. Oh my God. There's so many comments. Um, okay, I think I pinned it. Um, but if you check out votesaveamerica.com, it is amazing. They have so much information. I know that I've run there when I feel that I need some information, and um, they kind of have everything. You can actually register to vote there, so if you haven't already, I would check it out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to figure out how to add John now. Um... Let's see. This is my first time live. Um, Boat Save America, where are you? <laughs> well, hey. Go register, go vote when it's time. <laughs> um, I don't see you guys. Trying to find it. Bear with us, guys. We're waiting on John and Boat Save America. them so we'll see when they come through there we there go we oh my goodness my first time knew we'd figure it out <laughs> i knew we'd get it <laughs> how are you um i'm good how are you i'm pretty good thanks for doing this yeah thanks for joining us i'm so excited to talk to you this is such an honor i'm i'm happy to be here happy <laughs> to do this um, all right, so we have some questions for you, but before we get started, can you tell everyone more about your background and just Vote Save America and stuff like that? Sure. Um, so I, I met Barack Obama when I was 23, started working as his head speechwriter when he was a senator. Um, I stuck with him through both presidential campaigns uh, and the White House. And then uh, after the 2016 election, um, I started a podcast with my friends called Pod Save America, uh, mm -hmm. where we talk about politics and all the crazy shit that Donald Trump does every week. Um, and that grew into a media company with lots of podcasts. And eventually we launched Vote Save America, which is a uh, votesaveamerica.com, which is a one-stop shop for everything you need to know about voting and volunteering in 2020. It's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so why is it important? Why is the election so important? And how would you explain it to someone who hasn't decided if they're going to vote yet? So if you don't like what's happening in America right now, I honestly think that this election is your last chance to change it. Um, voting won't elect a savior. It won't solve all of our problems. Totally admit that. But voting will give us the chance to do something about climate change and systemic racism and healthcare and education. Voting will give us the chance to make sure that our politics isn't as fucked up as it is right now and that we're not all at each other's throats like we are right now. Um, and more importantly, if you don't vote, a bunch of other people who you don't know will get to make hugely consequential decisions that will affect your life in serious ways. 
And those people will probably be older and whiter and richer. <laughs> and they're going to show up no matter what, those people. And so you should too, because you deserve to have a say in your own future. Mm -hmm. Totally. Um, okay. In 2016, voters between 18 and 29 had the lowest turnout, around 46.1%, while voters over 65 had the highest rates, over 70%. Um, why is this such a problem? Yeah, I mean, so Americans 18 to 40 are by far the two biggest generations in the country, but we let the older, smaller generations make decisions about the country that we're going to have to live with a lot longer than them. <laughs> Um, so we actually have a lot of power. Uh, and if we actually use it by voting, starting with voting, we can completely transform politics, we can completely transform the country. So young people just have to actually use the power that they have. Right. Completely. Um, is there anything in particular that young and first time voters need to know, like registering, early voting, um, voting, right. state? Yeah, lots of stuff. Um, so you should make sure you are registered to vote. It is National Voter Registration Day, so it's a good yes, day to sir. do that. Um, you should make a plan to vote. Uh, there are a lot of options. You can vote by mail. You can vote in person early. You can vote in person on Election Day. But you got to plan. you got to do it early. And you can find all the information about how to vote, when to vote, and where to vote on votesaveamerica.com. You can verify your registration. You know what we are eventually going to show you what your ballot looks like. Um, we're going to give you deadlines about like when to register in every single state. So all that information is on the website. Which, yeah, which again, I have pinned. So if you haven't yet registered, go to my pin, click on the votesaveamerica.com link, and we can get you settled there. Um, what are the major issues in this election? And how should you educate yourself about those issues slash the candidates? So huge issues in this campaign, um, just a few, whether or not we get the pandemic under control so our lives can go back to normal, um, whether or not we stop burning up the planet so that our future isn't wildfires and floods and air we can't breathe. You know, if you're uh, in California, uh, you go outside, you could, you could barely breathe the air the last week. Um, issues like whether or not we do something about police violence and save the lives of the next George Floyd or Breonna Taylor. Um, whether we let Republicans take away health insurance and protections for pre-existing condition from literally tens of millions of people, or whether we expand health care to cover more people, protect a woman's right to choose, protect the children of immigrants from deportation, forgive student loan debt, decriminalize marijuana, just a whole bunch of other issues. Either Donald Trump or Joe Biden will be the next president. There are only two candidates with a chance because Trump is the incumbent, a vote for any other candidate besides Biden is essentially a vote for Trump. And there have never been two candidates who've had such different positions on just about every single issue than Trump or Biden. And if you wanna compare their positions on every, of every major issue, um, we have a pretty easy to understand side-by-side -side on votesaveamerica.com. Yeah, you were talking to me about that yesterday. It's actually really interesting. It's pretty handy. Um, can you explain voter suppression and how it works? Yeah, so voter suppression um, is when politicians make it harder for you to vote because they are scared of what happened if you do. <laughs> They're scared of what happened if it, what will happen if you vote. And so in a lot of states, um, Republican politicians have passed laws to purge people from the list of registered voters, um, shut down voting locations, uh, throw away ballots. Uh, if your signature on the ballot doesn't perfectly match your ID, it's horrible. But the purpose of voter suppression is to make you think it's not worth voting, so you'll stay home. Mm -hmm. Voter suppression can't work if you double check your registration, make a plan to vote, get all the info you need on Vote Save America. It can't work if you decide that you are determined to vote. Right. That's how you beat voter suppression, show up. So vote, do it. Um, how does the electoral college work? Is your vote more important in some places? So. The, uh, the presidential election isn't a national popular vote. Um, it's, it's 50 individual state contests where the winner of each contest gets a certain number of electoral votes, and that gets determined by a state's population. You hit 270 electoral votes, you win the presidency. Um, and because there's a group of states that usually go Democrat and a group of states that usually go Republican, that makes the remaining group of swing states extra important to the outcome of the presidential race. This year, the closest states are Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Michigan, Florida, Arizona, and North Carolina. Mm -hmm. But people should know that voting 
isn't just about the presidency. Like no matter where you live, you'll be able to vote for your members of Congress, maybe your governor, your state legislators, your local district attorney, a whole bunch of other offices that have a really a huge impact on people's lives. So your vote is important no matter where you live. Perfect. Um... work at the polls, uh, but that's very dangerous for them to do this year because of the pandemic. And so if we don't get enough volunteers to work at the polls, polling locations will close and people will have fewer opportunities to vote. So sign up to be a poll worker. Um, you can do that on Vote Save America as well. We also have an adopt a state program where uh, you can sign up for volunteer opportunities in one of the six battleground states. And just to give you an idea, about a quarter of a million people have already signed up to volunteer and uh, adopt one of those six battleground states. And if each of those people convinces just one other person to vote who didn't vote in 2016, you um kendall using your uh using your platform to help educate people about voting yeah of course and thank you so much for coming on what an honor um and yeah i'm i'm thank you <laughs> well thank you and uh, have a great day take care you too all right bye kendall bye guys